Hi, and thank you for joining in to this talk to hear the presentation about our new and improved method for phased assembly of HiFi data. My name is Ivan Solic, and I will be presenting the effort on behalf of the entire development team mentioned here. Let me begin with a quick introduction to the HiFi data. BackBio HiFi reads are a relatively new data type that created a revolution in how the genomics community views sequencing data. The reads are very long, up to 25 KB, highly accurate with over 99% accuracy achieved on a single molecule level, and they have the least amount of bias in terms of GC content and sequence context compared to other technologies. To give you an idea of how accurate HiFi reads are, here is an example from a 20 KB HiFi library. This is a read with predicted quality of QV33. In red, we have highlighted eight errors in the total length of the sequence of over 19 KB. This read has observed accuracy of 99.96% or QV34. Working with HiFi reads simplifies read mapping, variant calling, de novo assembly, and genome annotation. De novo assembly is the topic that we will be focusing on in this talk. Due to their characteristics, HiFi reads enable improved assembly compared to other sequencing technologies. These can best be expressed in terms of contiguity, correctness, completeness, and computational resources. High accuracy of HiFi reads enables us to resolve the repetitive regions such as segmental duplications, and through that, contiguity and completeness of the assembled genomes is improved. Polishing the assemblies with HiFi reads produces very high base quality values. Also, very high single molecule accuracy allows very accurate phasing of the assembled genome. Finally, but equally as important, the null assembly of HiFi data requires much less compute time, RAM, and disk storage compared to other sequencing technologies. In the last months, several assembly tools targeted at HiFi reads have appeared. These tools leverage the power of HiFi reads in different ways to produce highly contiguous and accurate assemblies. In addition to the modified version of Falcon and Falcon Unzip, which can operate on HiFi reads, the list includes these great tools, Peregrine, Haikanu, HiFi Asm, and Fly. Going one step further, we at PecBio are working very hard to develop a brand new and optimized tool for improved and phased assembly called IPA. The main goals of IPA are to enable fast assembly and quick turnaround time for each run, produce highly contiguous assemblies, produce fully phased haplotics through a dedicated phasing step, have high per base quality of the polished assemblies, and finally be easy to set up and use. It is very important to note that IPA is still working very rapid progress and the methods and results presented here are all an early version and not yet a final product. We are moving towards a release soon and we, we are excited to share our current progress with the community here. Now let's talk about how IPA actually works. The IPA workflow operates in six stages. In the first stage, a sequence database is built from the input data set. One or more input files are converted into an internal representation, which is compressed and quick to query. The sequence DB can be built from a number of supported input formats, which include FASTA, FASTQ, GZIP, FASTA, and FASTQ, BAM, XML, and a file of file names. In addition to the sequence database, we also produce a database of minimizer seeds to facilitate fast overlap computation in the next stage. Next stage is overlapping of the HiFi reads. For this purpose, we developed a new overlapper called Pancake. Pancake is extremely fast and accurate and can overlap a 30x human genome dataset in only 20 CPU hours. It uses a novel adaptation of spaced seeds for efficiency. Spacing is introduced in between every inclusive base of a minimizer seed, effectively allowing minimizers to span larger regions but still fit into 64-bit integers for efficiency. With 2-bit encoding, a maximum of 32 sparsely spaced bases can be stored in a seed. This allows reduction of false positive seed hits, which in turn also results in higher cache coherency. Seed hits are then binned in narrow diagonal windows to find candidate positions for alignment. Then a fast, al uh, then a fast alignment is performed to compute exact dovetail overlaps 
and estimate the identity for the aligned reads. After overlapping, IPA performs phase separation using our new phasing tool called Nighthawk. Nighthawk features a novel phasing approach based on the debris graphs. It builds a debris graph for each overlap pile and phases reads based on bubbles that formed in the graph. A read similarity score is computed for every pair of reads in an overlap pile based on the bubble paths they traverse. This score is then used to determine if a pair of reads is in phase or not. All cross-phase overlaps are then removed from the overlap set. Unlike Falcon Unzip, IPA is designed to perform phasing before the layout stage. The goal of Nighthawk is then to produce an overlap set which will naturally separate once it's converted into a string graph form. In an ideal case depicted on the slide, a string graph would be composed of a series of long bubbles representing phased heterozygous regions, intermittent by collapsed regions of low or no heterozygosity. Additional information about our new phasing tool Nighthawk can be found on our blog post listed at the bottom of the slide. In the next stage, IPA performs overlap filtering. This includes chimera detection based on the overlap files, as well as filtering any unresolved repetitive regions. Molecular chimeras make up for a very small fraction of the data, but filtering them can still improve contiguity of the assembly. Following overlap filtering, IPA runs the layout stage on the remaining overlaps. A string graph is built and contigs extracted in a diploid aware manner. The resulting contigs are grouped into two sets, primary and associate contigs. Primary contigs are pseudo-haplotypes, while associate contigs represent fully resolved haplotic regions resolved either through phasing or structural variations. Finally, layout stage performs the phase of air read tracking to assign every input read to one or more contigs. Assignment of each read is performed based on its overlaps with the built contigs. Read to contig assignment is important to perform phase of air polishing. In the last stage, IPA performs polishing of the assembled contigs. Polishing consumes the read to contig assignment and maps all reads only to their assigned contigs using PBMM2. Consensus is performed using the RACON tool, which implements a fast vectorized version of the POA algorithm. Additionally, RACON can manually uh, be configured to run using GPU acceleration on systems that support it. This slide shows the full workflow, which uses both phasing and polishing. However, IPA is configurable and allows those two stages to be optionally switched on or off. In this way, if phasing is switched off, the workflow becomes suitable for haploid assembly. Polishing can also be turned off if required. This allows for construction of fast draft assemblies, especially in the haploid mode. A haploid workflow without polishing is thus most similar to the Falcon workflow. In the scope of our preliminary results, uh, we ran and assessed the output of IPA on several datasets. First dataset is a public human pan-genome reference consortium HG002 dataset with 34X coverage composed of two smart cells of 15 KB insert size and two smart cells of 20 KB insert size. First, we ran IPA in the haploid mode without polishing and compared it with Falcon. This mode of IPA is directly comparable to Falcon because neither would be using phasing or polishing. IPA resulted in higher assembly contiguity with the N50 of 38.8 megabases and achieved this in only 46 CPU hours compared to Falcon, which took over 2,700 CPU hours. That's 60 times faster than Falcon. Next, we ran IPA in the phased mode with polishing and compared it to Falcon Unzip on the same human genome dataset. Falcon Unzip's primary contigs are more contiguous. However, haplotics produced by IPA are much longer, almost double in size. Both IPA and Falcon Unzip have high base quality after polishing and high phasing accuracy of the produced haplotics. One important distinction is that IPA is 8.6 times faster compared to Falcon Unzip on this dataset. I also want to draw your attention to how the total length of the primary pile for IPA is larger than the expected human assembly size for a single haplotype. That's because highly phased regions can result in some haplotypes being assembled into the primary contig pile. A tool like purge dupes can be used to separate these haplotypes in an assembly. 
running purge dupes on these two assemblies made only minor impact on Falcon Unzip, but improved the haplotic separation for IPA. The total length of the assembly is now what we would expect for a human genome, and the BUSCO scores for the primary assembly improved as well. They are now slightly better for IPA compared to Falcon Unzip. Next, we ran IPA on a highly heterozygous genome of the Atlantic bluefin tuna to demonstrate our phasing and our highly accurate contig assembly, as well as the impact of purge dupes on the contig fins. The expected assembly size of a single haplotype is around 800 megabases. The contiguity of the phased and polished assembly is very good, with contig N50 around 9.3 megabases. But you can see that the original assembly itself has more data in the primary contig pile than expected. After applying purge dupes, primary and haplotic piles separate almost perfectly, and the N50 of the both contig piles increased. The final assembly is highly concordant with the draft reference, as shown in the dot plot on the right side of the slide. Reference in this case was a scaffolded assembly, and since a high quality of reference does not yet exist, the base QV evaluation was not possible. Similarly, trio data is not available, so evaluation of phasing accuracy was not possible either. Finally, we ran IPA and a HiFi ASM on the Drosophila genome. The primary assembly of the HiFi ASM has a higher contiguity in the primary pile. However, N50 of IPA's haplotics is two and a half times larger than the length of those in HiFi ASM. Also, hafiasm overshot the expected genome size of approximately 140 megabases per haplotype, while IPA almost perfectly assembled the length of both haplotypes. The base QV of both assemblies is comparable. Basing accuracy, on the other hand, shows that IPA's primary and haplotype piles are very accurately phased, with a phasing accuracy of primary contigs at 93.1% and of haplotypes at 99%. Also, BUSCO completeness scores of the primary assembly look slightly better for IPA than for hafiasm. In conclusion, IPA is still a work in progress, but we were very excited to share its current state. We are planning to work on further improving the contiguity of our phase assemblies, optimizing parameters and methods in all stages, and finally, to thoroughly compare with other methods. But even at this early stage, IPA already delivers highly accurate contiguous assemblies at very high speeds. Its output is composed of very contiguous primary contigs and a set of fully phased haplotics, where haplotics are obtained through a concrete, dedicated phasing process. The final assembly is then polished in order to achieve base QV accuracy of over QV50. Those interested in the public HiFi data may want to take a look at the following website where we obtained the public HPRC HG002 dataset. Additional public HiFi datasets of the human genome, rice genome, and a Drosophila genome can be found here. IPA will soon be available in Bioconda. Please stay tuned to our PV Bioconda page for information on IPA's release. Finally, I'd like to thank the entire IPA development team, which includes Zev Cronenberg, Christopher Dunn, Sarah Kingen, Derek Barnett, and James Drake. In addition, I'd like to thank other PECBio colleagues for their contribution to this work. Also, I'd like to thank the collaborators for their contribution in sequencing, assembly, and scaffolding of the Atlantic Bluefin tuna genome. Thank you.